All right, man. This is uh, this, I'm Keith. This is uh, the Titan X3 three by three folding rack. This is supposed to be like the clone version of the Rogue uh, folding rack that they have. So, of course, Titan took the strings off the website, so I had to. Uh, I got these two by eights up there. Uh, it was a bitch to put up, and a real headache, literally. I mean. I'm gonna show y'all how it went up and I'm gonna explain to you how to set it up because a lot of people, um, there weren't a lot of videos on how to set it up. And um, I was only able to find like three people and the process just never went up right. So my daughter gonna help me out. Um, all right, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to open up once it's all set up and start up. Justin and shit. But anyway, that's the Titan X3 folding rack. Ah, I also watched the dip bar test. So anybody having the issues that I had, if you have this site decline in your garage, what you do is set it up from left to right. From the lowest point of the garage, set that arm up first. I got the stringers up. I put it all together first, put the bar on. Then I set it up against the wall so I know exactly where uh, you know the bolts had to go, the screws had to go. Then I put the stringer on. And then uh, I made the mistake of putting it together like that, and it wouldn't close right. Wouldn't open right, the feet were dragging. So I set up the left side first from the bottom. Make sure it's you know flat on the, on the garage, but you want to 
level, you want to level that bracket at the bottom first and then at the top. You're going to kind of pull the top one kind of furthest away as far as you can go to keep it 41 and a half inches away from the other side. It has to be 41 and a half inches between this bolt and this screw line up right here. Uh, Titan Fitness did not have any instructions and the online manual didn't tell me anything. So, but that's how I did it. You line that one up first once you get that level. Um, I figured this swung against the the uh, header pretty easily. And then when I went to this side, I found out it wouldn't work as well. So I got the bar on there. And the easiest way to do it, man, is we had a car jack. My daughter came up with this idea. Bam, there's a cutie right there. Got the car jack, put the pins in place, got it set away with the bar on top, and I had it, I would say about a quarter inch off the ground. And that's why I set it at. That's why I put the uh, the wood screws in. And once I found, once it, I, I, I secured it, I took the bars off, made sure this side closed evenly with the other side, which it did once we raised it up with the car jack. And to level it off, to get the, the weight put back on the ground, all I had to do was slide one cardboard sheet under this, uh, this little, um, this is a four by six uh, puzzle carpet. I wanted the carpet so there's little plastic stuff on the bottom of slides. But uh, I slid one, one, you know, one little, like I think it was a 12 by 12 of cardboard underneath this. And by the time it slid on here, it it was, you know, all the weight was distributed on the ground again. So that's how you get that working. It was a bitch. I actually dropped the bar on my head because I didn't put the pins in when I was trying to set the post. but. All in all, this came out came out well. <clears throat> I caught this three by three by Titan on sale. This isn't the short folding rack. This is the it's listed as the regular one, so tall folding or whatever. But I caught this on sale for two ninety seven. Free shipping. Uh, got here within I want to say about a week. And after buying that, I wanted some wall storage and uh, I wanted the dip bar. So the points that I, I gained by buying the actual folding rack, it gave me a discount on the wall mount, which I'll do a video on that one. And that dip bar, total $93. I think one was 65, the other one was 49. I was gonna pay about 130, so I, I saved on that too. All in all, $400 and I got all of that with Titan Fitness. And I think it was gonna be 690 to the door with Rogue, just the, just the folding rack. So after my headache, I'm happy with my decision. You know, it took took a little bit to get this up, but I'm happy with it. It's sturdy, it's solid, it can hold my weight. I'm a good 250, 255. And shit, I can pull pull ups on it. I can't do it with three right now, but we, I'm just starting. So <clears throat> after I finish cleaning the rest of this garage, we're gonna get that Echo bike and going back in business.